The inhabitants of this planet are known as Kree. There, a character named Ver is presented, who is severely injured. She observes an elderly lady before understanding anything, and she senses a lot of smoke. A man emerges from the smoke afterwards and aims a revolver at her. He couldn't see her face one second and then it was her fantasy the next. She is, in fact, having a dream. She has this dream over and over because she is not on this planet. As a result, she sleeps less and has lost her recollection of the past. Ver is addressed to a man who is the planet's commander. He teaches her how to fight before leading her to become incredibly brilliant. She stands there watching as the man tells her that super intelligent has no face. She emerges in the shape that keeps appearing in your imagination. Ver moves closer to the location of the super intelligent. She also appears in the visage of the old lady from her recurring dream. She warns Ver that the world and its inhabitants are in peril. Alien scrawl that occupy different worlds one by one and can take any shape. They have the ability to occupy and destroy our world. Those aliens must be destroyed. Later, Ver, along with the Kree troops, and their command, depart from the scrolls location. The plant's head notifies Verse about a spy who has been under the control of alien scrawl for the past three years. They must liberate him at any cost because he is under their control. They all arrive on a planet, and Ver reaches out to the spy, requesting that he be released. She deciphers the code he gives her. The army of the scrolls has assaulted them, she is informed. Who she thought was a spy was actually a scroll leader who had disguised himself. The alien scrolls capture her and transport her aboard their spacecraft. They seek to know her past with the help of a machine. Ver had forgotten about it. Ver was the first woman to land on Earth, and she was a pilot. She is the woman she sees in her dreams. The scroll alien boss is curious about her. He informs his companions about their destination and the place. Ver enters the picture before they accomplish this. She lets go and goes after alien scrawl. She wonders what he's gotten into her head. He responds that he hasn't put anything in her head, it was already there. He's just interested in the doctor and the lightspeed engine. You have no memory of the past and have been held captive by Kree. The spaceship is damaged as all of the aliens attack her. If the spaceship crashes into the Earth, all of the aliens will flee. She alerts her people that she has arrived on Earth and that they should take her away. They inform her that the journey will take 22 hours and that she must wait. Later, two agents arrive and begin an investigation into her. She claims to be from Kree and wishes to exterminate the Skrull alien. Both agents, though, are baffled. Meanwhile, she is watching a Skrull and begins chasing it. He changes his appearance and boards the train, but Ver recognizes him. They spar frequently, and the Skrull alien drops a memory device. This is the same memory device from which Verse memories and Skrulls run. The agent who was trailing the train in their automobile emerges here. His second agent sends him a call form. It indicates that the second agent in the car was not an agent, but Skrull altered his appearance and sat with him. Meanwhile, the agent causes an accident in which Skrull kills him and the agent suffers eye injuries. Skrull is taken to a lab by the agent, where his supervisor appears and assigns him to it. As if it were a secret mission, all of the information must be supplied without naming anyone. Meanwhile, we notice Ver, who catches the alien Skrull memory device she discovers. The name of the bar appears as she inserts it into her hand device. She brings up memories of the past when she visits the pub. She has already visited this location, as has the agent. They both spot a photo of an airbase and reach for their own. When the agent shows his card to the security guard over there, they are both led to a room. They are in a store with several files within them. They discover a file belonging to Dr. Wendy Lawson, which contains notes on Dr. and the light speed engine. These notes are in a variety of languages. Dr. Wendy was a Cree, not a human being, as we now know. She knows from his file that she ran to take a light speed engine many years ago. Along with them, another pilot, Dr. Lawson, appears in her dreams on a regular basis. Agent receives a call from his employer, informing him that he is in a base with Ver. The boss eventually appears in the base, and as he speaks with the agent, he realizes that he is not his boss, 
but rather a Skrull alien. To catch Vare, he disguised himself as the boss. Agent engages him in conversation and flees, but the Skrull catches him again. Vare appears and fights the alien, dragging him into a plane before killing him. Later, they both contact the other pilot house after reading in Dr. Lawson's dossier that another pilot was working with him. She's the same girl who last saw Dr. Lawson. Hare, she knows she was Dr. Lawson's dearest friend, and you were piloting the plane when it crashed. And we assumed you were there as well, being killed. But you're still alive, and Vare has no recollection of anything. She is also unaware of the girl she refers to as her best friend. The Skrull's leader appears and declares that he does not want a battle. I had no idea who you were when he imprisoned her the last time. But now I'd like to speak with you about the recording from that evening. The evening you spent working with Dr. Dot Lawson. He hears a voice after that. Dr. Lawson gives directions to a site. And he directs you to this location. There's her lab, after all. Ver now recalls everything. She was going to Dr. Lawson's lab with a light speed engine at night. Meanwhile, they are attacked and their fighter plane crashes, injuring Dr. Lawson, who declares that they wish to end the war forever. My real name is Marvel, and I'm from a planet other than Earth. You must now eliminate everything. This light speed engine should not be in the hands of anyone. Someone kills them before she can destroy it, and Dr. Lawson dies. This is the same scene that Ver sees in her dream, as a man points a gun at her. But she had never seen his face before, and now she can see it. Ver considers him a friend and the commander of Kree planet. He demands an energy source, but she understands that no one should have it. When Ver fires on the energy source, a large explosion occurs within, and all of the powers are transferred to Ver. The leader no longer kills us because he requires this energy. The tale returns to the present day. The scroll commander reminds her that she is backing an incorrect planet. She wants to eliminate light engines because the Kree people have ruined their planet. They destroy their planet if they do not give up. That is why they seek refuge on another planet. He informs her that Dr. Lawson, in his capacity as Captain Marvel, has discovered an energy source capable of destroying any planet at the speed of light. Where the Kree army couldn't get. She wants you to assist her in locating that. Vare, on the other hand, informs him that she has already been destroyed. The scroll commander then informs you that while you damage the engine, the energy source is still in their lab. The location of the lab, as informed by Marvel. She informs him that the lab is not on Earth, but rather on a planet that shifts its location over time. The scroll's leader has changed and is now capable of reaching the planet. They are now all departing from Earth for the planet. They arrive at the lab quickly. When they all arrive, they notice an entry source that was previously hidden. The question now is where Dr. Lawson gets this energy source. In contrast, the three people who created the shield in America are the first Avenger we've seen. The project was called Vegasus when shield and NASA collaborated on it. They aimed to build a speed engine using various energies in the project. Dr. Lawson was also a member of their team and worked as a scientist. They both discovered the energy source in the same location. In Dr. Lawson's lab, a scroll comes and makes an odd sound. His family, who had been living in this house for six years, has arrived. Now, Skrull's wife notifies him that Marvel has blocked him from indicating any signal. The people of Kree would have arrived if we did this. Now Kree's leader and his army have arrived. Ver is captured and his senses are sent to their highest mind. Ver now stands in awe of this tremendous mind. They now have a device in her neck that allows them to control her senses. She is now aware of the situation. She now removes the device from her neck and throws it away. All of her abilities are unlocked as she throws. Verse is promoted to Captain Marvel. As Captain Marvel, she manages to keep the Kree people at bay in a single try. She now leads the engine source towards the agents and requests that he leave. The agent possesses the Marvel cat, which is actually an extraterrestrial rather than a cat. The source engine is energized by the cat. Later, the agent and a buddy of Ver, as well as Skrulls, depart. They blew up the lab and destroyed it. 
Kree's leader also wanted to grab the engine source and follow them down with his flying thing. Captain Marvel snatches the flying jet from the leader. She calms her mind before arriving on Earth. She understands her ability to soar. She eventually wrecks the leader's jet. Two people from the Kree planet are depicted on the other side of the Earth. They discover their people are defeated and begin firing missiles at the Earth. Caption Marvel, on the other hand, obliterated them in a single strike. When the people observe their might, they decide to go and warn them that they will return for vengeance. Captain Marvel returns to Earth, where the Kree leader is present. She seats him in her flying vehicle and instructs him to inform Supreme Intelligence that she will be visiting their planet soon. As a result, she was able to destroy everything. The agent now emerges, holding a cat that has galvanized the source power. Sharp paws from the cat hurt her eyes. Captain Marvel later gives the device to the agent and informs him that it has been updated. You can still send a message, but only in an emergency. Later, Captain Marvel and Skrulls depart from Earth in search of their new home. The agent who had his eyes wounded now has his eyes concealed. He tells his companion that they have no idea who else is leaving Earth. This time,